Hey y'all, what's up? What's up? Hey y'all, what's up? What's up? So today I am back with another video, another sit down girl talk video. And today's video is going to be on how to start over. Like, how do I start over? Like, it's a new month, it's May the 1st. That means it's time for new beginnings. Like, how do you start over, sis? And I'm here to help you figure it out, girl. Period. So, um, let's go ahead. So, let's go ahead and just go right on into the video. Because we don't have time to sit down. <laughs> we do have all the time in the world, honestly. But let's just go ahead and get into the video. Because I want to make sure I drop these nice little gems for y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, if you like all the tips that I am giving y'all once you finish watching this video, make sure that you thumbs up this video so I can be sure to drop part two. And also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss part two, girl. And I know I'm missing some nails on this hand, y'all. I gotta get these things done, so don't even worry about it. I'm gonna get them done this weekend. Just know that. <laughs> but, let's go ahead and hop right on into this video. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so today's video is, like I said, going to be on how do I start over? How do I start over? Like, I know they say new year, new beginnings, but I believe in every month is a new month, so you can start over within the year. Whatever month you want to start over in the year, it doesn't have to be January because it's a it's the beginning of the year. You can start over at any time, y'all. Any time of the year, any month, any month you can start over, sis. Any month where there's the first day of the month you can start over. So, let me go ahead and just give y'all five little tips on, well, not even tips, five little things that you can do to start over, sis. It's never, it is never too late for you to start over, ever. Y'all matter how old you is, you know, what you're going through in life, never too late to start over. So, don't ever think that it's too late to start over for one, this just a tip, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the video. I got my little notepad right here with all my little tipsy tips right here for the video. If you watch my videos and you already know I gotta write down my tips before I give them to y'all. Had to brainstorm these things, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into number one, which is make sure before you start over, make sure you do number one, okay? Before you start over, make sure you do number one which is let go of all the toxicness everything that is toxic in your life let it go i don't care what it is if it's your man if it's your friends if it's your job if it's your uncle them your auntie your mama anybody or anything that's in your life that's toxic that's giving you that toxic energy that just anything or anybody that's not you know that's not that you don't think is right for you in this moment while you're trying to make this change let it go let them go it doesn't matter if god tell you to let them go i ain't trying to put my religion my religion on nobody because i don't know none of my subscribers religion but this is just my religion and if god say they gotta go then it's only right if i let them go like if it's on if if they are meant to be your friend or your immediate or immediate family or your bae, hubby, whatever, wife, anybody. They will always come back if it's meant to be. And it's just that. So, right now, while you're going through this change, while you're trying to make yourself better, while you're trying to start over in life, make sure you let anything that's holding you back, any toxicness, anything, let it go, sis. Anything, let it go, please. Because you're not going to be able to move forward with these things holding you back. I'm telling you, listen to me. But let's go ahead and move into number two, which is, um, I just say, this is me. Um, I don't know about y'all, but when I want to start over, when I feel like it's time for me to start over, I clean up my whole house, literally the whole house. I clean up the whole freaking house and I reorganize my room and I just, I don't know. I just make, I don't know. It's something about a clean house that just makes you, I, well, it makes me a happy person all over again. So if I'm sad and I clean the house and I just smell the chemicals and the, per, and the not perfume, the chemicals and the candles and the smell goods, it just turned their frown upside down 
and when you're starting over why would you like a dirty house when you're trying to start over girl clean that house even if it's already clean just clean again see it's clean again it's for me cleaning is a really really big part of starting over because the reason why i say cleaning is a big part of start over because we're going to go ahead and jump into number three which is throwing away all the old things everything that you're not using i know me i have so many clothes that i have to get rid of right now it's not even funny seriously i'm so serious it's really bad i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but yes but yes y'all like number two grows right on into number three Throw away all those things that you're not going to use. Throw away all the things that you know that you're not going to wear. Throw away all the things that you know you're no longer using. Throw away all the things that, that, that he got you that reminds you of him or that reminds you of her. That, you know, anything that you know that should not be there, throw it away. Anything that you do not want, throw it away. Stop holding on to things is not going to help nothing it's only going to make you feel worse honestly unless that person is gone up to heaven with god himself i do not want it if we have no dealings i swear like not for me i would literally throw it in the trash no cap throw it right on in the trash and not even care if you want it back go in the trash and get it period you should have got it when i asked you to get it but anyways yes y'all that's number three throw away pig old that you a big old whatever trash bag you use glade healthy um great value can whatever can you use take it put it in the trash and throw that boop, in a dumpster period and let's go ahead and get into number four which is my literal personal favorite and i had to add it on for the first five because it's really very much needed when you're starting over because when you're starting over you're losing people so you have nobody to talk to really i mean that's fine well with me it's fine because i just get a journal so yes y'all number four is get you a journal get you a pencil write down your feelings y'all anything that you're feeling anything anything that you feel anything that you might want think or you're about to feel write it down in a journal keep it to yourself as long as <clears throat> as long as you're getting it out i promise you you're going to feel better even though you're talking to yourself in that journal you're going to feel better let me tell y'all this is this is this is the book that i write my um video ideas in but i also write my journaling in here as well and i got me a cute little hello kitty pen from um i got this pen I got this pen from what I got this pen from Dollar General. And I think it was three dollars. And I got this notebook right here from Walmart. It says notes. I got this notebook from Walmart. And yes, y'all get you I got so many. Extra. I think I got like four or five journals. Cause I be writing down my feelings, y'all. Cause I don't want people to tell nobody what I got going on. Like I be having some thoughts in my head. They don't be like you know bad thoughts, nothing like that. But it just be things that I be thinking about. And I don't be want to really tell nobody or I don't be having nobody to tell. This, so I'll tell it to myself, tell it to God. And hey, that's it for me. I feel much better just either telling it to myself and God, period. And last, but definitely not least. And remember, if you want a part two to this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you comment down below part two or just simply subscribe to my channel. Like either one, I'm going to make a part two. I promise you that. So, number five, last but definitely not least, is change your diet. Okay. And I say that because when I want to say I really like had a diet change, but I know that, that for those 30 days that I went pescatarian, I cannot even lie, y'all. I felt so good. Like, I just, every day I got up, I had a little energy. I just felt good like it was like I don't know I don't know what it is but I just know that when you're when you change your diet it gives you a oof like you just feel like a brand new person and honestly when I went pescatarian I just really low-key cut out all the pork I had some bacon this morning so I ain't gonna say cut out completely but basically like I really have not been eating pork none of that 
since their pescatarian diet and honestly i don't have an urge to eat it i wouldn't say i stop beef all the way around after that diet but i limit my beef intake i would literally cook my spaghetti with turkey meat i cook my tacos with turkey meat all it like i eat turkey cutlets all that baby all of it now i ain't gonna give up no chicken now i love my chicken wings we're gonna have to fight by those for real I'm not giving those so sorry okay but if you change your diet it doesn't matter what you do to change it um like if you want to go completely vegan you want to go pescatarian if you want to just stop eating something or stop you know alcohol intake for 30 days stop smoking if you're a smoker for 30 days you don't even have to do 34 days because 30 days is kind of pushing it but i try to do everything for 30 days because i say it takes at least 15 for you to break the habit so i try to do it for 30 days because i want my 15 days to break the habit and then my 15 clean days okay but yes y'all i just think just change your diet okay anything you don't have to change it completely like i said because that's not what i did i eased my way into changing things but i just feel so much better after after they put the second diet, I just kind of slacked up lately, y'all. That's why I'm making this video because I have to tell myself this while I'm telling y'all. Because I'm trying to start over this month myself. I'm trying to do better. I am trying to get myself together. Trying to get my son together. Trying to get my whole household together. Because it's just time, y'all. Like, it's literally the freaking middle of the year well it's not literally like it's the fifth month but almost literally the middle of the freaking year like it's time to start over if you didn't start over the beginning of the year it's time to start over now and just to show y'all how mother if it's serious i am about starting over boom i went and got me a new waist trainer off amazon it's called a waist trimmer because i'm about to get this body right for the summertime and i'm finna to go on me i don't know if i'm gonna do a 30 day no meat diet 30 day no juice diet or a 30 day of both but we gonna see y'all and i'm gonna make sure that i take y'all along the way but that is literally it for this video those are all five of the tips that i had written down for y'all and i definitely would like to do a part two because i have so 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 many tips that i know will help you on your journey of starting over starting your new life becoming your new self becoming that it girl okay <laughs> but yes y'all make sure that y'all like comment and subscribe i'm telling y'all my videos are going to get litter and litter and litter so make sure that you freaking subscribe to my channel sis and if you are already subscribed you already know what the f going on make sure that you leave the official emoji down below in the comments so i can know that you effing with me and i love y'all y'all make sure that y'all enjoy the rest of your day if you're watching this and it's daytime and if it's nighttime y'all have a good night and rest well and let's just make may a wonderful month for new beginnings new movements and new opportunities okay so i love y'all bye bye <laughs>